let the shameful wall of exclusion finally come tumbling down. Hi everyone, my name is Chrissy and I work for Martin Brothers Consulting Services. In this quick tutorial, I'm going to be going over how we do the measurements for door opening pressure and closing speed for doors with a closer. Uh, these are two key factors in evaluating accessibility for doors to make sure they're easy and safe for all users, including those who might use mobility devices. Uh, first thing I'm going to talk to you about is the tools we use. So this is a door opening pressure gauge. It has the pounds right here on how many pounds it takes to open the door. And we also have a hook here, which helps in cases where you might need to use a hook to measure a pressure. The other thing I'm going to need is my phone or a stopwatch in order to time the closing speed. So let's get started. So we're gonna measure this door. The first thing I'm going to do is measure the door opening pressure. Uh, I'm going to slightly crack the door to break the seal so that we can get an accurate measurement. And then I'm going to put this tool right here and apply firm but even pressure to open the door. Then I'm gonna check my gauge, which this says six pounds. Uh, depending on whether this is a fire door or not, uh, we'll, at least in California, under California Building Code, uh, chapter 11B, section 404, there are two requirements. One is for fire doors and one is for just other doors, interior or exterior. As you see, this does have what looks like a fire door marking, but we can't tell or verify. So. Um, what we would do is we would just say that this door requirement is five pounds. Um, but for this door, we measured six pounds, so this one's slightly heavier. We can just adjust the door closer. Uh, the next thing we're gonna do is measure the closing speed. So I'm gonna make sure I have my stopwatch ready to go. I'm gonna have the door open 90 degrees. And then we like to put our foot at the door because in the code, uh, for at least for California Building Code, it requires you to stop the timer at 12 degrees. Uh, so I'm gonna push start when I let go of the door. And then I'm gonna put my foot in the door and push stop as soon as the door hits my foot. Uh, and this door ended up being 3.2 seconds, so that would need to be adjusted to meet the five second requirement. And that's it.